think this passage could lead me close to the Lord's Dawson You cannot win this! What a stupid new form! Respect the laws of Ascalon! Ah! Uh -huh. 
You London vampires are so weak! Are you all right, miss? Who are you? What do you want from me? My name is Jonathan Reed. I'm a doctor. What happened to you? Why are you here? I'm Louise Teasdale. I was kidnapped a few weeks ago by a vampire. Don't laugh, please, sir. It's no joke. I believe you, Miss Teasdale. That monster told me my father was dead, that no one was waiting for me outside. You're safe now. You don't have to worry about the vampire. You should just return home. Thank you, sir. I hope we'll meet again soon. Because I'd really like you to teach me how to get rid of these creatures. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again.
remember why we are here in the... Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we need to leave this city immediately. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius for many years. May I ask why you've not gone already, if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? What can you tell me about your brother? He's older than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Who are you waiting for, exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be, then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. We should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Anywhere. Anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange. And we are alive. For now, yes. But for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? Good 
Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just... Your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. So I suppose the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm. The pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. Tell me more about your strange feelings towards the city. I would be happy to describe them, but it's too hard to explain with mere words what I'm feeling. It's unclear, too confused. Go on, please. Where should I start? The world is chaos. Men go mad and nature itself runs roughshod over us all. This is not the first time mankind has faced a deadly epidemic or a war. Men kill each other while nature decides to kill them all. I don't know what scares me the most. Do you? Both can be disastrous. And a combination of the two merely increases their potency. And what if they were just a sign of worse disasters to come? Something of biblical proportions, I wonder. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here, in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city. As soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really sure. Can you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Please, be my guest. Do you like this city? I know we are not living in the most peaceful of times, but I have learned to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes, or maybe, it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. I wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life, and now I think it's over. Tell me more about why you want to leave London, then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing, and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Goodbye, Mr. Bacon.
Hello again, Dr. Reed. Tell me, how long have you been waiting here? I can't say for sure, since I have no watch. But the night is still young, and I am not tired. Is that the most honest answer you can give me? Yes, I think so. Why does it irritate you, sir? Is comprehension really that important to you? I'm a scientist. I try my best to understand things. I know the world has to obey unbreakable rules. You know, or you want the world to obey such rules? I know one thing. I do not understand who you are. And it's better that way. What kind of life would we live if we could summarize a person in a few words or a few lines? What are you really afraid of, Agamemnon? The problem is, it's precisely what I don't know that frightens me. So I suppose I can't really answer your question. What are you really... The problem is... If you finally manage to leave London, where do you intend to go? A happy place, that's for sure. A place where I can smile because I know the next day will be better than the previous one. Such a place doesn't exist. There are never any guarantees that tomorrow will be a better day. That would mean I have no hope left. And I just can't accept such a conclusion. Goodbye for now, Mr. Baker. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? Pericles, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? And where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling. To be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. How long, long have you been waiting for this man? Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps it is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you, waiting here all night. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. Mr. Baker, I have met many strange people during my life, but you are definitely one of the strangest. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? Goodbye, Mr. Baker. 